All right, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, um, kids, if you're watching, uh, yeah, it's recording now, just making sure. Um, we did a little bit of planting out here in the hoop house. We got a muscadine, we got a concord, and we have two types of blueberries. And I think I did this video. Um, if I didn't, this all got planted on the, the seed, the majority of the seed um, got planted on on the first it, it was it was cold um and that's why i'm saying i may have not done the video um and then on the seventh is i planted the the grapes and the blueberries um two figs over here in the um that was about it oh in garden seed um i got that whole row is over there just nothing but garden seed we'll see how it fares um it's windy today <laughs> We, we've been having some weather since the first of the year, I mean, since the first of April. Um, the ground was hard frozen when I put the grapes in the ground. Um, it, it wasn't like it was still bad weather or nothing like that, but um, it, was, it was clearly, it was still clearly cold. Uh, it's the 17th, I believe it is today. Um, I'm not going to hold myself to that, but I think it is. The seeds are starting to come up. Um, here we go right here I don't know if you can see that there we go the seeds are doing real good uh, as soon as they get up about oh uh, like the size of a pencil you know smaller than my little finger is you'll be able to tell boy from girl and that's where you'll pull all the males um, but, uh, just the overall germination is coming up now this one, I had another one in the other bed, um, might be a volunteer, is the, because I, I only seeded right in that row, and I, I don't believe I missed any, unless the cat got in there, and he, he does that, so we can't hold that, we can't say that that didn't happen, uh, there's a couple more right there, right there. But they're just now starting to, they're just now starting to germinate, so. Um, nothing over here is coming up yet. This is, this was all vegetables, and that's all vegetables over there as well. Um, a few of the, just a few of the seeds are coming up, and not all of them are nothing like that. But now last year, his, I did about the same thing. It was, it was cold, it was frozen. And, and they didn't come up in the two week window, and so I reseeded. And this time they didn't come up exactly on the 14th. And I said, man, this is gonna be a bummer. And, um, and so I'm kind of thrilled that, that they're coming up now is what I'm trying to get at, is, um, is uh, without reseeding. Because <laughs> um, that sure makes a mess. And it's sure quite a mess. But this will be more controllable Snowpack is almost gone. No, I don't know if you can see that up there. And other than that, we're going to cut this one kind of short. Is I've, I've had another couple offers, whatever, whatever y'all. Uh, I don't know what words to use. Um, but the only thing that I'm interested in, y'all, is um, what a little bit of work I do here. I've I've gave up on doing like experiments and jazz like that. It just it's too expensive. I mean, unless I had a farm, and uh, is there a farm for sale? Yeah, there's a great big there's a ranch right up here that's for sale. Um, if anybody has seven million, I mean, we we'll be partners. Um, other than that, not much I can do. Is um, my biggest thing in life is like. Oh, these old snaggy trees here on the end. Uh, pretty just rough looking stuff. But uh, is the I can't see on that. that old snaggy looking tree. I, I know that, that I've had comments on the firewood looking rough. And it it, it is. Um, because that's what this is just firewood. This ain't saw logs. I mean you can buy saw logs and, and that's why I want the sawmill. Um, and I've may or may not be able to get a, a load of saw logs in the mill 
this year, but I'm, I'll definitely have it by next year. That's the plan. And um, but this year, even if I got to take a chainsaw, is I was going to take this um, this this trashed one right here, um, the snaggy looking one, and I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to make a little cabinet out of it, um, just to show a few people, you know, to, uh, exactly what kind of wood this is. It's really beautiful. Um, the grain is beautiful. Uh, I wish I had one of them, uh, what do you call it, the Alaskan mill. Um, even in a wheelchair, I think I could handle it to make, you know, just a few boards for a cabinet or something like that. Um, but I, I would really like to have a, a wood miser, uh, the LT15, uh, with the power, the power feed. And then to do nothing more than six, eight foot logs. Um, but it is what it is, y'all. As, um... It is if anybody wants to get into timber frame cabins here in Colorado, uh, timber frame and hempcrete homes, you know, nationwide, uh, that kind of thing. Yeah, definitely hook me up. Uh, I mean, or look me up, that kind of thing. Um, if that's not what you're into or whatever, then I'm not I'm not into the rest, guys. I'm just sorry. I'm getting old and, and my days are I know my days are numbered. It's, it's fine. I'm happy. Um, I'm I'm kind of glad that it's is getting done. Is what I'm saying. Um, I've enjoyed my life. I've had a good one, and and it just it's not bad. It's not it's not bad knowing that it's ended and you done well. I guess that you know some people um, they don't like the way stuff ends because they didn't do so much in life. Uh, I've done enough. I, I've been around the world a few times. Um, they had the international trucking company uh, drove truck for over 20 years um, I mean I didn't have the trucking company that long but I drove truck that long um, did, did uh, I had pretty good life um, I worked in nightclubs pretty much all my life any free time that I had left um, I just liked the atmosphere and I didn't like to drink the irony right so it was just easier to, to get paid um, than it was not to get paid, I guess. Just the easy enough the way to say it. And um, but 33 years, I I, I I bounced in clubs and security. Um, not bad. Not a bad life. I mean, and that was undefeated 33 years. I guess I would have felt worse or, or whatever if I got you know fucked on too much. Uh, but undefeated 33 years. So. Okay, well, we're going to get over the nostalgic and all that happy jazz, y'all. Um, but if you want to buy a ranch and you got like $7 million and you want to build all kind, you know, um, and I hate it because there was a guy, his name, uh, there, there was a couple people named Peter, but this, uh, he had a, a, a thing out in, um, in uh, it was on one of the islands out there. Uh, I don't believe it was Puerto Rico. Um, like U.S. Virgin Islands or something like that, and and he was doing the home development out there, and and I didn't at the minute I didn't have time, um, but he was wanting to do basically what I'm wanting to do right now, and at that time I didn't I didn't I didn't see it. Is what I'm trying to get at. Um, the the things that you look up in your life and you look past, and that was definitely one of them, and I messed up. Um, but that's the kind of person I'm looking for again. Um, and that's really all I'm looking for. I, I don't, I'm not into answering questions no more. None of that jazz, guys. I'm just, I'm tired and I'm done. Uh, but I do appreciate you watching the channel and you checking in from time to time. And I'll keep making bump up videos just telling you how it is. Uh, and, and don't, is, um, I'm not sure if I got it on the first video or not. But we got the new addition, this big old water tank. And man, does that make life here so much easier. Um, the sun powers all the, the pumps and all that stuff. So you just drop the the, hose, the pump down in the in the top just a little bit, um, and that way uh, it can't overdraft. I mean, you're not like down at the bottom or nothing like that. Uh, you can only drink it so much. Out. Okay, well we're gonna make this one short and let it go. And, and appreciate like I said, all the all the thoughts and comments and chats. I appreciate it. All right, talk to you then. Bye.